Um, Robert Halfon MP, uh, you completely, completely endorse what the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has just said. Well, like much of Harlow, um, I've watched the statement just now and uh, it's massive. It's massive. We'll be remembering it to tell our children and great-grandchildren uh, it's uh, we're in a state of national emergency. I don't think the Prime Minister could have put it more bleakly. And uh, we just have to do what they are saying, and that is to stay at home, s- save lives and protect the National Health Service. Uh, otherwise, we will not beat this as a nation. And I, you know, Boris Johnson is a, normally quite a cheerful fellow, but he, he looked pretty grim uh, when he was giving out the statement just knowing about the reality of all this. But if we do this, if we stay at home and only go out for real essential things, um, we can beat this. We can beat this. But uh, if we don't, I fear that um, things will get much worse. But Harlow does have a very much a collective spirit, a cohesive identity. So we're just really asking for the 80,000 plus people to illustrate that in one big movement, aren't we? Harlow has incredible amounts of community spirit. I've never seen that in anywhere else I've ever been in the country. And we've all got to look after one another. A lot of that is going on already from streets to homes, the food bank, uh, um, many other uh, charities, rainbow services, uh, disabled groups helping each other. Um, and also, of course, our health service, the police uh, are looking after us all and uh, fire services, emergency services. But, uh, this is serious. You know, we just are going to have to stay at home for many weeks. A minimum, he said, they would review it in three weeks' time, but I suspect it will be much longer. There are over a million people today who've been texted across our country who are being told to stay at home for 12 weeks because they're at risk, have been texted or, or written to by the National Health Service. Uh, this is this is massive. And uh, when he said the words national emergency, I think that it really brought it home to the uh, not just people in Arlo, but across the country, what what we are facing, this third world war against an invisible enemy. And, and But all those staff, all those heroes down at Princess Alexandra Hospital and different people working in the NHS in this town, they need to be properly equipped, don't they, Robert? They do, and uh, uh, they are uh, doing unbelievable work, uh, not just the NHS staff who are putting their lives at risk daily, but also the school staff who are volunteering to go in because they are teaching uh, the children of key workers that we need for to, um, to look after us during this crisis. And the government are getting the equipment over. I've had regular conversations with the hospital as well, and they're, they're uh, following the advice of Public Health England. The government are getting the equipment to the to the hospitals but that's why we mustn't put any more burden on the nhs by doing stupid things and and congregating and going out unnecessarily and that's why uh, the prime minister has said tonight that uh, to protect the nhs to make sure they have the equipment to make sure that uh, enough people are looked after and people have a long uh, much better chance of surviving all this don't go out don't let the disease spread because at the moment it's hard to believe, but it's true. We are all potential walking hand grenades. But finally, Harlow can get through this. The nation can get through this, can't it? I absolutely believe uh, out of the bottom of my heart that if we do the right thing, if we follow the advice, and what the Prime Minister is doing is in essence day by day following the latest advice from the top science experts in the country, the top medical experts in the country, Public Health England, the top NHS uh, people, if we do what they tell us, um, I am convinced that in a few months, God willing, this will be, uh, um, you know, the worst of this will be over. But only if we stay at home, save lives and protect our NHS.